The views expressed in this commentary are not all the views of Vision Press production, they are views of citizens, electorate, and taxpayers expressed to Vision Press production through telephone communications and personal appearances of the named entities. One of the roles of the mayor is to hear public complaints and in a mayor's report to Colport Borough Council explain the complaints. This is one of the duties of the office of mayor. More than two individuals on separate occasions have informed Vision Press Production that the mayor will not hear complaints, phone calls are not accepted by the mayor. Valid complaints are set forth by the citizens, electorate, and taxpayers with denial of response. Among the complaints set forth to Vision Press Production were buildings vacant and inhabited by transient individuals. Further, there are buildings collecting residual waste possibly causing a site for rodents and other creatures of disease and harm to neighboring residents and passer-by individuals. Additionally, Individuals burning toxic materials extremely adjacent to other residents within a 20-foot distance that is encroaching upon within the victim's home. To a new matter, appears from the last two Colport Borough Council meetings, the pseudo-secretary is using the procedural meeting device named Agenda as a whipping device to control 8 PAC.S 1005 powers of the council. Colport Borough Council is by law the authoritative power of the municipality. The pseudo-secretary manipulatively cries out in the meeting, the issue is not on the agenda and council cannot hear the matter. In the opinion of Vision Press Production, an agenda is a guide, not a whip. Colport Borough Council has the power to revise, extend, and to add extraneous things or matters into any meeting. 8 PAC.S. 1005 The law is, council holds the power, not the pseudo-secretary. Will the council wake up and stop the manipulation of the pseudo-secretary? In the July 11, 2022 Colport Borough Council meeting, the tax officer was on the official agenda to redress the previous month's tentative motions served in written appearance regarding Tax Ordinance 194, Enforcement or Elimination, ET Sec, motions suggested and requested by the tax officer, the Rev. Gerald W. Spade, Sr., the tax officer stated, Anyone not paying either the real estate taxes or per capita taxes by December 31st of the tax year, the borough never sees the unpaid taxes when the information is sent to the Clearfield County offices. Approximately, $10,000 of unpaid taxes of Colport Borough are never seen again by the Colport Borough Treasury. As reported before, Two councillors do not pay taxes to the borough. Either they pay their penalty amounts of money to the county or they refuse to pay taxes in Colport Borough. As reported before, the two councillors owe per capita taxes as far back as 10 years. Why should we honest taxpayers pay per capita taxes while two councillors refuse or evade paying taxes to Colport Borough? According to the two councillors, we pay payments to the county every year for real estate taxes. The result of the matter of paying taxes to Clearfield County, if anyone does not pay taxes by December 31st of each year, the collectible money sent to the county is never seen again, according to sources. If the county does collect the unpaid taxes sent to them, the bank statements of Colport Borough do not reflect any deposits from Clearfield County. Be advised, Clearfield County imposes, fines, penalties, and interest on unpaid taxes sent to Clearfield County by Colport Borough as unpaid taxes after December 31st of each year. So, on an average of unpaid taxes at December 31st of $10,000, over a 10-year period, Colport Borough loses $100,000 of income that could have been used for streets, and other financial matters benefiting Colport Borough residents. 
Clearfield County cheated the tax officer for Colport Borough, appears the county is dishonest and is cheating the citizens, electorate, and taxpayers by collecting and penalizing non-paying taxpayers who do not pay taxes to the borough before December 31st. According to sources, Clearfield County keeps the unpaid Colport Borough taxes, the penalties, and interest of all amounts of money. Ordinance 194 of Colport Borough has a penalty for not paying per capita taxes and real estate taxes a sanction of $50 penalty. Does Clearfield County collect the Colport Borough sanction of $50? If Clearfield County does collect the $50 for each individual, over 100 non-paying taxpayers of which two are councillors for Colport Borough, Colport Borough Treasury never sees or receives the sanction. Who holds Clearfield County accountable? Electorate remember in the next election to remove county officials by vote against their unreasonable seizure of Colport Borough taxes in the opinion of Vision Press Production. Anyone not paying taxes in a tax year before December 31st is a traitor to all honest taxpayers of Colport Borough. The two non-paying councillors of Colport Borough are traitors betraying the oath of office as a councillor and depriving all taxpayers of needed funds to ensure financial safety of the borough of Colport, in the opinion of Vision Press Production. Respectfully. Vision Press Production. Note, http colon slash slash www.wkeys.com Click on Colport Borough Council Meetings to see videos.